everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. I am going to go ahead and go over what my husband and I did to conceive our baby boy that I am currently pregnant with. So I am 28 weeks pregnant and we have two little girls and my husband and I gender swayed our baby based off of the Shettles method. I'm going to go ahead and go in depth with the research that I did to go ahead and conceive our baby boy. But before I get into today's video, just a little disclaimer, I am not a healthcare professional. I am not a professional in this area. I have, I don't know, I'm just not a type of person that you can say, oh, this person gave me medical advice. No, none of that. Disclaimer, I am not a person that specializes in this area. I just wanted to go ahead and share the things that we did to gender sway our baby for baby number three. And if you guys are interested, just keep on watching. All right, so I am going to go ahead and show you guys first, since a lot of you guys, I got this video request a couple times already, so I wanted to go ahead and do this video to go ahead and share it. Since we do have, we do have two little girls, and I'm currently pregnant with our baby boy. I am 28 weeks pregnant, and I wanted to go ahead and show you the last ultrasound that I received so you guys can see the baby. So this is his little profile picture that I got of him and you can see his little part right there and then in this next one you can clearly see his little parts so we are having a baby boy you can see his little parts right there um, my husband was so excited to see that little part when we went to the ultrasound so you guys can see we are having a baby boy let me go ahead and grab my laptop to go ahead and show you guys what I read. So when my husband and I were trying to conceive baby number three, I told him, you know, let's hold off on um, baby dancing, you know, up until I know what my body's doing, you know, let me figure this out first. So I did a lot of research and I found, and I came across the Shettles method. Don't mind me I'm going out of breath been going out of breath I think it was after like 24 or 23 weeks that I started running out of breath really quickly when I talk but based off of the shuttles method these are the things that we did so based off of the shuttles method it says sexual position timing of intercourse timing of a female orgasm and douching plays a big part or a big role in conceiving or trying to gender sway a baby boy or a baby girl. So since my husband and I wanted to conceive a baby boy, I went based off of the baby boy facts and that he found in his research that will help gender sway to go towards a baby boy. So it says that he found that male sperm swim faster but die quicker in it when when deposited inside so with that being said we had to time ovulation so it says women are considered to be fertile around seven to ten days after menstruation ends meaning the peak and the peak window of your fertile period which is around day 14 is when ovulation should occur so when i read that i told my husband okay let's try on day 14 when I ovulate and let's see if we conceive a baby boy. Well, we tried that. Nothing happened. I wasn't getting pregnant for like two cycles. And I was like, okay, something's wrong with my body. I'm not sure what's going on. And then that's when I started to get into YouTube videos, books, and more articles. I went ahead and purchased these on Amazon. These are ovulation test strips. I bought these because I wanted to see when I was actually ovulating. Um, and when I did see that I was ovulating, I found that I was not ovulating on day 14 at all. I was ovulating on day 21, day 22, day 25 sometimes, day 19, but I was not ovulating on day 14. So my husband and I, we thought we were getting the ovulation day, but we weren't. We were missing it completely because I told him, let's 
baby dance on ovulation day and the day after. Well, that's day 14 and 15. I didn't ovulate till a week later, so nothing was happening. My body was releasing the egg. There was no sperm there to help to meet the baby, I mean, to meet the egg. So I wasn't getting pregnant. Once I seen that that was going on, I started tracking it every month. And I purchased a little notepad from the dollar store to go ahead and help me track my cycles every month. And that's when I saw that I was ovulating later on in my cycle. And my, uh, my uh, periods were irregular too. So they were a couple days long, a couple days short. Um, so my cycle was completely different than what the average woman would have on here. So that helped me a lot better understand when I was ovulating. Of course, I highly recommend if you guys are trying to gender sway your uh, baby's gender, especially for a boy, tracking ovulation is very important to know when you should baby dance. Um, so when we did find that I was ovulating later on, I told my husband, okay, based off of the shuttle's method, boy sperm swim faster but die quicker. So we need to baby dance on the day of ovulation, the day, well, that evening and following, my, my daughter's trying to peek. So I forgot what I was saying. We need to baby dance on ovulation day, the following day, and a couple days after to go ahead and get the greater chances to conceive a baby boy because when my egg is released, you only have 24 to 48 hours for the egg to be fertilized. And so when that happens, we wanted to be sure that the sperm was there ready to meet the egg as soon as it happened. Um, so that's what we did. We baby dance on ovulation day and a couple days after to go ahead and make those chances greater of us of having a baby boy. Um, that really helped me also my ovulation test strips. I bought them on Amazon. I'll link them down below. Um, they were actually very inexpensive and very easy to use and it helped me better understand my... <laughs> my... You want me to open this for you? Yeah. There you go. Did you finish your grapes? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Can you close the door when you're done? Yeah. Okay, thank you. And can I come in here? Uh, if you want. But you have to turn down the phone, okay? Because I don't want to hear the phone. Okay. Don't mind my daughter. She just came in. But, um, so what else was I saying? Okay, so based off of your ovulation day is when you should baby dance to conceive your chances of a baby boy. Um, I really hope you guys got some tips from here um, to better know when to baby dance and when to conceive a baby boy. Of course, these are the tips that helped us. I didn't, we didn't do like um, sexual position, timing of a female orgasm, or douching, like, we didn't take any of that into consideration. The only thing that I did was timing of intercourse, so we wanted to make sure we baby danced oh, no, on the day. We wanted to make sure that we baby danced on the day of ovulation, which is very, very important if you want to go ahead and sway your baby's gender. Um, yeah, so that's what we did. If you guys have any questions, of course, link them down below and I'll go ahead and respond to each and every one of you. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and took some kind of information out of my video. Um, not sure if this video was a little bit all over the place, but I hope you guys understood it. Um, if you are trying to conceive right now, it takes time. I know when my husband and I were trying and these months were going by and I wasn't getting pregnant, it felt like forever and I just want you to know that it will happen it will happen for you whether it's IVF or you know doing it naturally or anything but it will happen and it just takes time um, honestly my biggest supporter was my husband you know he was there for me he thought it was at first he was like really you're gonna research like how to do this and I'm like um, if you want a son yeah I'm gonna research it because I want you and I to be happy with what we're having. Of course, we'd be happy with anything that God gave us, whether it be a boy or a girl. But for the greater chances of us having a boy, of course I was going to do anything and everything that I could 
to go ahead and receive that gender that we wanted. Um, I've seen a lot of videos where people have like gender disappointment of you know the baby that they received which is kind of sad honestly because a lot of people want to get pregnant and can't you know and that's very sad to me to see that before I end today's video I completely forgot to show you guys my baby bump right now at 28 weeks let me show you this is what he is looking like he is he is lower but very round down here. I remember with my girls, I felt like I was a lot higher and rounder up here. He seems low for me, but he is going to do what he's going to do. Um, I do look very pregnant when I put my shirt on. Janelle. Yeah, that's how I went to the grocery store, honestly, and did not care. But this is what our little handsome little guy is looking like right now at 28 weeks again don't forget to like this video and subscribe and i will see you all in my next one thank you for watching bye